If someone told you Villarreal is one of Spain's boom towns, you'd find it hard to believe. It looks like any typical medium-sized Spanish city. If someone told you this boom town has actually gone bust, you'd have a hard time seeing that too. But talk to people like Javier Massanet, a journalist, lived here all his life, knows everybody, knows his city, and you believe it. Pero costa de una familia. It seems impossible, but there are families here suffering hunger. There was a case discovered last week of a family that had only a little bit of oil, some salt, and a potato. The fact this is happening in Villa Real is amazing. But let's go back to the boomtown part. Not diamonds, not gold. Follow the smoke, and you'll find the factories. Inside, tiles, ceramic tiles raw material to build the houses of the Spanish construction boom. Imagine 200 factories like this, all turning out up to half a million tiles every day, and that gives you some sense of the scale of the tile industry here in Villarreal. That house building boom lasted for about 10 years. The factories in Villarreal and the surrounding area supplied 90% of the tiles for the Spanish construction industry. Life in Villarreal was good. People bought new houses with big mortgages. People like Cristina. She would only give us her first name. She and her husband bought this house and started renovations. They've since had to stop. It's hard. I have three children and I don't know if I'll be able to keep them in school. About two years ago, the Spanish housing bubble burst. Things got worse last year when the global financial crisis hit the country. Factories have slowed production, laid off workers, or in the case of Cristina's husband, not paid their employees. This man, Ernesto, is a friend of the family. They haven't paid him for months. Now they are struggling to pay the mortgage and they could face a situation where the house is repossessed. Things are so bad for her family, they now depend on food handouts from Caritas, the Catholic relief organization. Many others depend on Caritas. Cristina was the only one who would agree to speak to us on camera. The social assistance office in Villarreal is always crowded these days. Many people have given up trying to look for a job here, and the prospects of finding work elsewhere in Spain aren't promising either. The people of Villarreal had always been used to good news, but every time they open a paper, things seem to be getting worse. Take this edition, for example. The headlines are dominated by news of unemployment. In fact, it says here that every minute, four people in Spain lose their jobs. If you want to see just how bad things are in Villarreal, go to the main square on any weekday morning. Look for the working aged men pushing baby carriages. The mayor of Villarreal told me people aren't used to seeing that here. He's also had to increase his social security budget by 20%. We've had nearly 15 years of strong growth and nearly full employment. This town isn't used to seeing this level of unemployment. Villarreal does have a winning soccer team in the top five of the prestigious Spanish league. Go to one of their practices, though, and you'll find most of the people watching are unemployed men. Blas Sanchez used to work in a ceramic factory. Then he lost his job. Even sports can't really make things better. And not much good news from the factory floor. Antonio Piquer manages Rosserso, one of the biggest tile makers around. I feel a great sense of worry because if there's not a revival in the short term, then there's little we can do. Employment prospects aren't good. The market is, as one worker said, as flat as our tiles. Production lines have been scaled back and they are still making tiles faster than they can sell them. Mountains of tiles are piling up outside the factories. For World Focus, I'm Martin Seemungle in Villarreal, Spain.